Hey guys, JC here with another The War Z video. In this one, we're going to explore the changes uh, the recent patch introduced into the safe zones. So, the first one we're going to visit is uh, this one Goblin's Peak Settlement. There's supposed to be a few new buildings and some NPCs as well. So, you can access your global inventory and the general store without leaving the game um, I don't see any new buildings yet what? oh, here we go, a bar opened 24-7 that's nice, let's go inside um, oh, the War Z video game can I play this? Uh, no and an ATM. Interesting. Didn't know the banking system was still operational. Generator. And another generator. Some tables. Uh, can I go behind the bar? Uh, no. Okay. So, Mel's Pub. Uh, wine. Wine. Um, some males. Apparently just drinks, no food. Um, what else do we have? It's a nice bar. Eh? I hear footsteps. There's another player around. Ah, oh, there he is. Hey man, what's up? Oh. Okay, so there's a vault over there and a general store here. What? <laughs> Some jackass blocked the entrance to the general store with this wooden barricade. Oh, look! An NPC! Hey, that's just one of the player models. Uh, can get in through the window as well. Look at all that stuff. Okay. So... I'm going to have to check the general store in one of the other safe zones. And the vault. This is for you to access your global inventory without having to leave the game. Can I do anything here? No. More computers. Okay. Let's see. Access vault. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay, here we can see my global inventory. Weapons. Ammo. Melee. Some clothing and backpacks. Armor. Food. Medical supplies. And I have that forward grip. I didn't use it yet. Okay, so this is the vault. I think those are all the additions for now, so I wasn't able to enter the general store. Let's go to another settlement, see what we can find. Okay, we are in Castle Pine settlement. Um, I had this character nearby made a quick supply run and got uh, pretty beat up by the zombies um, I had no weapon at the time so <laughs> as you can see I'm leaving a blood trail all over the place let's see if I can dump some of the stuff I got into the vault and if we can check out the general store here here we have the vault let's go inside same as the other one. What? <laughs> I can walk right through him. Okay. So, oh, I had this time capsule. It's the first one I ever found. Oh, it's here. Okay, let me just store all this. A lot of food, drinks. The freaking mini saints all over the place now. There you have it. 
mini saints. Okay, let's go back. I want to see if I can visit the general store. There it is. Okay, so uh, no, it's not this way. Oh, there we go. And we have the you know backpacks over here. Is that a kind of fuel? Interesting. So mats, masks, more backpacks. Best played on Origin gaming systems. A generator. Hey man. And yeah, this is basically the same general store you can access from the menu with your ammo. That's a lot of ammo. And if you notice, about half of it can be purchased using gold coins and the other half using the in-game dollars, which are very hard to come by. Okay, so some interesting melee weapons. That machete looks nice. And clothes and uh, masks and I mean backpacks. Food, help items, and attachments. Okay, let's go back. <clears throat> so, I saw the vault, the general store, and um, oh, there's the bar. Should be exactly the same as the one I saw in the Castle Pine, I mean in the Goblin Peak. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Here we are in Blue Ridge. Um, okay, let's go inside. I already know it's going to be the same as the previous two safe zones. I just want to be thorough and show you uh, all the changes. Uh, there's something over there. Yeah, the vault. Oh, another survivor. Hey! Okay, let's go up this ramp. Because the vault is over here. Have to go around, I think. Uh, I was reading the patch notes for the, the, the latest release, and um, they increased the, the server hopping time to one hour. I'm not sure if that's going to stay. But um, a lot of people were complaining well, because they are server hoppers. And now you have the, the necessary interfaces to access your global inventory and the market from inside the game without leaving the server. So the only reason to complain about uh, the, this cool down time of one hour um, between server changes is because you want to server hop. Um, I think one hour is a bit too much. Maybe half an hour should be okay to prevent people from you know, farming the same place over and over again. We'll see how that goes. Personally, with this, um, you know, the interfaces to access my global inventory and uh, the market, I could really play for hours in a single server. There's the general store and standard layout. Okay guys, I think that's it for this video. Um, hope you liked it. See you next time. Destruction and creation are the same.